we are enjoying our streaming google meet as well as youtube live uh, so we are we are running a live q and a at the end of the webinar you can shoot out your queries in the comment box at the at the time so uh, so i like to introduce today's presenter mr fernando Ram ramon he completed hi. master of science in management at the hello yeah hi i can hear you Mon yeah continue yeah Mon, you can uh, continue. So, uh, let me introduce today's presenter. Yeah, let me introduce today's presenter, Mr. Fernando Raymond. He completed Master of Science in Management at University of Worcester, UK, in 2011. After a year in 2012, he started his career as co-founder and e-business consultant at Futurist Business. In 2013, he took up a new role as business data analyst in Koito, specialized in data analysis. In the same year, he started the world's number one SEO agency in London, Big2. In 2015, he additionally founded the web hosting services company Seeka Host. Currently, he is looking, he is looking after the uh, Click2 Seeka Host advertising services using Google Ads, business video creation, and much more. He has vast experience in ranking top for the keywords like SEO Consultant London, SEO Agency London, where known by most of the SEO community. Uh, so now uh, let me ask HOD by CSE, Dr. K. Premaladhamam, for a special address. Good evening, Anandal present here. First, I would like to thank Mr. Fernando Raymond for uh, giving this great opportunity us to conduct a webinar on search engine optimization. Actually, this webinar is organized by Mr. Mogandraj and Vignesh Kumar of DAT Satyamangalam. I thank both of them for initiating this such a webinar for our students as well as outside participants during lockdown periods. Thank you very much, sir, for accepting uh, our You're welcome, request. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, please, you take your session and proceed, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. It's a really a, it's a good opportunity. I'm very happy that I could actually present my knowledge about SEO and uh, share with Mohandit. Thank you, everybody from the college. So uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity and share my knowledge about SEO, a little bit of how I got started because and, and tell how you all can also learn the SEO skills and, and, and use it for various activities that you plan to do online. And also at the end of this uh, webinar, you all will be getting the access to the free access to the SEO training course and content writing course that I've done and my team done at Click2 and Seekerhost. And then you will get the course access to freely learn because in this webinar, our plan is to go through the, the fundamentals about the uh, is about SEO you know I, we expect that you have a slight understanding about what is a website and a blog and you have heard maybe about search and optimization however I'll be explaining about it to you and uh, things like keywords what are the core elements that you need to understand to perform better on search engines right and uh, Mohanjit can you also hear me yeah everybody yes sir we can hear you yeah. yeah so I will proceed with this one so if you have any questions I would like you to also ask me any questions and stop me because uh, if anybody wants to jump and ask a question they can because I'm not seeing the live chat uh, screen over here so um, I will uh, then proceed right but you can always ask questions for me if I'm going a little fast or things like that yeah sure sir Okay, then. so these are the things we, we expect the participant to know. You have heard about what is a website and a blog, and you know what is, uh, you have heard about search and optimization. So let's get this started. And uh, this is the session overview introduction was given by already about me and about you all as well, the college. I, I had a look, really happy to take this opportunity. And uh, it will cover about the search and optimization and working of search and optimization and what is SERPs, which means the search engine results page and the types of SEO and some of the latest trends like mobile SEO and voice search. 
why it's really rising and why you all should know that one as for the future of Google and to perform better of rankings right and also I'm going to give some tips about ranking high on Google what are the tips that I used personally from the point of putting up my own blog at the time you all can if you all Google even right now FernandoBiz.com was my very first blog uh, that I put and I ranked this for freelance SEO consultant then I ventured out for my business as he said for the click do it's all was a journey you know so I'm going to tell some of the the secrets and the strategies that I used personally to rank higher on Google get people to find me hire hire me to uh, do SEO optimization services for their websites things like that right and chain two basically takes about uh, the factors if you SEO from the thing and the change of SEO and then you will get the chance to ask me the questions whether it's you all can take the chance and um, ask it live and I'm happy to answer it's going to be a lot of a conversation and asking answering any of your questions right and learn more about SEO where you will get the access for the free course which I have done hours of videos are train performing SEO on live websites and doing it step by step so you all who participants will get the access codes uh, to the Seacoast University today for the course that you can learn for free so now let's get it started so introduction to search optimization so this is the general meaning search optimization is the process of growing the traffic to a website from search engines by increasing the visibility of a website on SERPs, which means the search engine results page, which is actually the first page of Google. It's very uh, unlikely that people go to second or third pages when they look for an example. So, for example, if you are looking for a college in, let's say, in Chennai, college in London to learn, you see that uh, search engine results that list up on the first page of Google that is search and optimization because those listings the higher the higher the listings are you get most clicks right and there are two aspects into SEO one is organic SEO one is paid SEO which is called Google AdWords so that there are two things so if you perform a search on Google you can see there are four ads popping up if it is a commercially viable term so for example if you search for if I if I go to the screen right now for you all because let me show you because I want to make sure you really get to the basics uh, you, you see my screen right so just say uh, colleges uh, in London right so if you want to learn in London and all so you can see at the moment ads are not showing but if I can see let me see if I can serve for a commercial term it's a stop but I hope you actually can understand it these are organic results which is also these are some of my clients which we have ranked for click to clients right so normally if I haven't searched much you will see four to five ads popping up which shows as an ad praise so that's a paid ad but it is still searching optimization right so there are these are the two aspects which is called organic SEO which is the free way of getting traffic by increasing the the ranks on the first page of Google which is the search engine results page and also the other way is the paid one which is an advanced thing which we actually do and if you're interested I can actually cover on another presentation for that but that's the paid ad. that's the Google's business model right I hope this uh, covered you the general understanding about the search optimization which means in simple terms increasing the the visibility of a website on the first page of Google we are people are tend to click and visit a website so uh, and then if you look at how search engines works there are ways how the search engine works basically it's called crawling and indexing so how a search engine works basically the search engine bots in this case the Google bots go and crawl a website so you think your college have a website you guys college as a website right so with the college website has informations web pages like blog articles things like that so, the, so when you submit that to a Google which you will actually see on a later stage I'm talking about submission and also in the course that I will get I will show the procedure how to submit a website to Google indexing via Google webmaster tools so when that's done Google bots go and index the robotic text file on the website and read through the content and it has the index in and it, it, it stores it for certain amount of this so the website what is it about what content it covers what are the information all are stored 
right? So when a person perform a search engine ser search query for a particular keyword, according to the stored data, Google show the most relevant web page. There are, there are 200 factors that they're looking into the backlink, the relevancy, the timeliness of the content, the freshness of the content, how, how the backlinks are getting from relevant websites. All those things comes into place when Google shows up a search place. However, the fundamental <coughs> of its working is uh, just, just a second. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got something on the mouth really. So, uh, on it. On it. I got just to take a minute on this one. Yeah, okay sir. Uh, we will share the utterance link in meanwhile. Feedback or utterance link in meanwhile. <clears throat> oh, so uh, let me take over the session. Uh, so everybody, uh, everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody, no, everybody I, I, yes, I can hear you now, right? So yeah. I was talking and my voice got yeah. a little, yes. like, you know, I had to dry it out. So basically, so that's how yeah. the engine uh, performs. So it looks up to the, to the website's content and the relevancy and the freshness and it crawl it and index it and it stores on its search engine and to showcase when a person perform a search engine on their search. So I hope you got an understanding of this one. That's how a search engine works. And then why Google? Because Google is the most um, popular and, and the most accurate search engine according to other search engines. Because um, in the early days when I was starting, we were on Yahoo search, on Bing. And Bing is still there. It has a search percentage. And things like uh, other, there are other search engines, but the most popular search engine at the moment, the world by the the people are using, is is Google because its accuracy is based on the location base and uh, things like um, wait a minute, right? So uh, location based results and then the search preferences. It looks up to the the past searches done on Google Chrome and it shows a very relevant. Uh, search listing for the search uh, searcher and that's why it's the most for, uh, um, uh, the best uh, search engine at the moment on on at the moment used by millions of people and it has the largest search uh, search percentages are done right and also the speed and and more and more people are using the user friendliness so this is how a search engine works pretty much and that's how you need to understand most of you all have been using Google and you know this is the this is the fundamental how a Google work now let's look at the search optimization basics, right? The types of search SEO services to improve the ranks of a website. So the first things first, if I had to tell you, is about starting having a website. So there are some fundamentals, how a website has to be built. You all know a website, you know your college website. And uh, if I do uh, show basically a website so basically this is the click to website so you know we have built it as in a brand and uh, so this is the click to brand and this is the website so this is a website built to the highest standards with the search optimization to go after the the relevant keywords for its offering right so you have you know it's on a website but but to increase the ranks of it to increase the ranks of a website there are a lot of things that needs to be done after building the website as well as during the time of building a website which i'm going to talk to you about right now all right so which is called the very first thing on during the part of building a website is on page optimization what is on page optimization i have a description you all can go and actually read it i'm going to give this presentation after this you all can see the the very broad explanation but the on page seo means basically fixing your website to the right standards of the googles the bots to be able to read 
you know the the website is built the the website architecture the presentation the media images all those things actually let me see if i can uh, get the the pointer so um, screen yeah i think i uh, a point yeah so you all can see uh, so this has a thing right so website um, op on page optimization means building the website to the highest standards according to the google factors the speed the media the images on pages your title tags and all those things matters when you're building the website all these things guys are covered step by step on the course that i'm going to give you for free after at the at the end of this course but i want to go through the the basic understanding so just take an example of the a hotel building the hotel right is the starting point you got to build the hotel architecture right it's uh, the, the the colors the rooms the, the beds all those things has to be built right before you do the advertising which is actually the off-page optimization part right so on page optimization factors include the right keywords are included on the website's web page the page speed optimization that means the website load faster yeah, there are things like that and then of course the media the presentation when the traffic comes they stay on the website because they get all those things you know because those standards are what google looks when when a websites when they are indexing process when i when i talk about the google indexing and crawling during this process of uh, google crawling and indexing they look at the on page seo factors so if the on page seo factors are not up to the higher standards the website they will not already picked up so if for example if you copy the content from another website and and put it so these things are, are going to not going to actually uh, like uh, gonna gonna pick up on the thing right so so basically the website has to be built right from the start and there are the fundamental procedure which is a very technical approach you will learn it all on the course which i'm giving and once on page seo is done it comes to the off page uh, optimization which is actually uh, the, the, the off-site part, which is the advertising. So creating awareness of this website to the general world, then this, then the traffic start coming. So as I'm looking at the hotel example, you build the hotel very well. Nobody knows about it. Then you need to do the announcement part of advertising, which is in this case of stage optimization. Of stage optimization factors include like guest posting, creating backlinks, which is a quite technical for you all I know, which I'm going to talk to you in a couple of different slides about the, these things. But off-page optimization include, basically try to understand, it's the advertising creating awareness to the general public that, okay, this website is built right and it's on the search engines. Now the traffic to be welcome because when the traffic comes, they interact on the website, they will consume the content, they would want to inquire, they want to buy if it is a product related website, just say if it's a college, they would sign up with the colleges. So there is a certain aspect of thing called offset optimization in very simple terms. It includes advertising and creating awareness. On page optimization is creating the website right, which is according to Google factors so that Google index it and store it as a high authority website with with the certain amount of content for a niche. And then it concludes the off-page optimization. All those things are there. You all can read the, the very detailed thing about this off-page optimization techniques, which I actually go, this is a little bit of advanced SEO, but when you read the deeper meanings of it, you will get to that. But I want to make sure in this presentation, you understand what is on-page optimization, off-page optimization, which are the fundamental types of SEO services to improve the ranks of a website. So there are terminologies in SEO, which is going to very advanced level, very fundamental thing taught with the keyword. That's the very fundamental thing you can see is the keywords. You can watch this video to learn what is a keyword. Keyword is basically in simple terms, what you put to Google when you want to search something. So if you want to buy, buy a t-shirt, you look for buy t-shirts online. That's a keyword. So basically if I go to a, so, so basically a keyword is a keyword is this right so if I look SEO consultant London right so if I look at this is a keyword you can see this is one of my pages if you Google 
if you google this you can see this is my page i rank number one for seo consultant london right so this is the keyword that you enter to google to rank so also my agency ranks number one also my page ranks number one so you can see it's really much the highest way of ranking so seo consultant london mohan you, uh, mohan you can hear me you guys are quiet yeah it's audible very sir. clear right yeah it's audible. you see my screen the google yes sir it's visible visible sir yeah good you you all also can keep it on this mode so don't have to be quiet so i know you all are there you can ask any questions because i want to make sure i really simplify this for people okay, sir. right so be be on the talking mode it's not bad so don't have to be silent right also very soon I, we will get the people to also talk so for example now i'm talking about the key uh, the very terminology from seo which is going to very advanced stuff but i want to get to the basics so the very first thing guys is the keyword so seo consultant london is a keyword that people look for for when they are looking to hire an seo consultant this is my story how i built my business how i built my seo agency how i took things further this is one of the very first keywords that i rank i rank number 1 for 3 years actually continuously until i was doing client seo running my agency because after last year i handed over to my team to run my agency still it's there you guys can see still i'm ranking we get inquiries every day for this keyword so this on the map results ranking number 1 agency is ranking number 1 organically ranking number 1 so all those things are ranking number 1 which which gives me the highest opportunity to get a click so what happened when a person look for for the keyword seo consultant london because they want mostly a business owner put this keyword because they want to fire an seo consultant to hire so i rank number 1 here which is a page which is this is a page that i you all can also study built to the highest standards of the on page optimization which i actually talked to you about this one building the house right right because these all these factors are built perfectly that's why with the off page seo which i have done it helped me to rank number 1 this particular page the content score is over 95% according to a, even a, this tool uh, uh, cognitive seo and a lot of tools but it's it's all written by me if you anybody want to learn how the content for a particular keyword you can study this one and ask me any questions as well if this video is on youtube you can comment below i'm happy to answer for the next few days of any questions you have so so this is a keyword right this is the very first thing that a person enter when they actually put into to the google so getting the keywords right is very important there are tools that we use like href which you all will see on the course that i'm going to give to you these are some are paid tools some are free tools like the very first tool that i use at that time was the google keyword planner you all can literally go create an account however there is a thing like uh, like right now google is sometimes asking uh, only for the thing like you know google keyword planner right so you can go here and then i'm not going to go inside here this is one of my ad accounts but this is a thing you can have it and also there are tools like uber suggest right so it's a free tool i know the uh, it's done so you can have a, this one this is one of the tool you can enter a keyword like say seo consultant and then let's say you look for united kingdom so keyword research is one of the most important things i cover it in a very deep manner in the uh, in the course which you all are go all are going to get because so that that's how you look so let's see the key uh, seo consultant search volume this from the uk alone 2400 people are looking right this is a keyword nationwide i actually used to rank number 1 which helped me build my business so this is in my own industry but same things apply if you go on the things we also lose a tool like href right so i'm just going to tell you the tools but these are some of our hrefs so this is another tool you all can get started and use right and uh, so uh, these are some of the tools which you all get to learn about in the thing i'm not going to go into detail but these are the tools and getting the keywords right is a thing this tool is free so you all can actually use it for free and get the keyword volumes very good understanding and everything so you know these are the top keywords that i've been dominating to rank and and build my business so you all literally saw how i've done that one so let's get back so um 
so yeah once you get the keywords right it comes to the meta titles right so i'm, I'm going to show you in a couple of different slides which is a meta title let's get let's quickly go through these are the terminologies in seo which are the most important that you need to know right getting the keywords right once you get the keywords right you put the meta titles which is a part of on page seo and the meta description and then getting the url slide right so URLs like and SERPs which means the search result pane the backlinks which is a part of off page SEO which you're going to learn a little bit right the, the page authority domain authority there are various factors that Google look into and also those tools that I show explain about the trust flow the citation flow pretty technical but just learn it all this can be clicked to learn it so if you if you click to those you will literally see the explanation so i'm giving this presentation for you you all can go through and and read everything once you read everything ask me questions after even this presentation i'm happy to answer you for via email or in the below of the comments of this video you know so the indexation domain crawling all those things are the terminologies and these are pretty much the the fundamental terminologies that anybody in seo should be knowing the ssl the content length the keyword density alter text what is alter text and meta data for images why you need to put that these are the things that we put to really score on google what is no follow do follow very advanced stuff but and the google analytics search console impressions and what are tricks basically if i to tell this is an impression right this is basically impression but if i click we land here right that's a click so that's basically that one of the, the these are these are the terminologies guys what i would tell after this presentation all of y'all who are watching go through these links click through the links and learn it so that you know exactly what are these things which is very important if you are planning a career in seo or else you planning to do seo for like somebody or to your website knowing this will help you right and then again this example that i'm showing for one of my core keywords this guys seo consultant london was actually my main keyword that I built a business so that I built click to that I just grow my agency then made me to invest money on to see cost this this keyword really changed my life so if you're also planning into SEO as a carrier or want to learn maybe one day want to become an SEO consultant you can go after your city SEO consultant India SEO consultant Coimbatore SEO consultant Chennai and 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 you will learn in during the process how to look at the search volumes for a particular keyword so now let's look back so seo this is the url slug very important to get this key this right which i talk in the course and this is the title tag so see how i got the got the the main keyword on the front of the title which is very important i know it's very easy science but still that's how google look it if you don't get the title right at the front and the right way you're not going to rank so i will show again if i go back to my search praise on this one you all can see i have got this one perfectly on the top and that's why I ranked number one for SEO Consult London right and I then got the UK I ran for multiple keywords it's your consulting London UK SEO Consulting but I got this variation the science of writing the the meta data is all covered actually I'm, I'm gonna give you all this wise uh, the course access completely free you can literally go and sign up thousands and thousands have gone through this course done by myself all of you all will get the access to this course uh, for free which talks you about in-depth videos about uh, the how to write the the, the meta title and they're doing the on page struck thing you know that those things are you will get the course access uh, Mohan uh, will leave an email to you the access so Let's look back to things. So the meta description is this part, which is getting right. A lot of people think Google don't look at to that or ignore. Don't don't think that one. It looks it. That's why when you run a search press, it get even bolder. That the alone says Google read that, right? And these are the schema data. Pretty advanced SEO, but if you if you complete the macro even and learn it all, and if you think you want to learn this part, you can figure it out. You can learn. Also, I we covered about it because this is what gives me a competitive advantage over anybody while I'm ranking you can see I'm ranking number one and number two guys also doing something number three guys also doing but some are not doing but you see the I get a lot of space on Google actually 
for the number one result for my core keyword right so this this is applicable for any niche we, we've done it for multiple niches for our clients all the people so it's doable so this is called this part which is the the schema adding which is the advantage your part most of you all can figure it out you all are technical so i hope you got to understand about the the most important thing of a website getting the on pages you right and also what's presented on google search place for a particular keyword the url slug the title tag the meta description and also some schema if you want to get the get the biggest uh, real estate space and get the click to your website and then and 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 so far what i explained uh, do you all have any questions should i explain any more should i continue let me know any questions silence so. hello sir yeah any any anything not clear from what i explained so far sir can you tell us about citation flow sir a citation flow right so if i go yeah, about yes, citation sir. flow right so this is about the citation flow is basically how many sites it's 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 a tool third party tool but it's a terminology not i'm really going after because it's a third party tool called majestic citation flow is basically how many sites are linking to you right and it it gives yes, a rating system so basically you know google looks at the backlinks right so the niche relevance yes, comes in place when you look at the citation so if if i'm an seo consultant which i'm an seo consultant in this case yes, right so if i'm getting links from seo related business related my uh, my re niche relevancy backlinks my citation flow grows up and also it directly impacts towards my trust flow right yes sir. So, basically, yes, sir. So, so there is a thing called citation building citation building services which is a big thing right so if you google citation building services okay now you can see i explained these are the paid ads right yes sir. so yes, sir. this one you can see we are ranking number one citation building so citation building so this is a guide anybody want to read i have written this this click to an article citation field is basically we are listing on directories, which is also into the business related. So the citation building services is done for local business websites, yes, as I said, to get listed on niche relevant website, which is business directories, which increases the citation flow. You are cited. So you know when you are writing a research paper, when you are studying. Yes, sir. When you are writing a research paper, so for yes, example, what did you do your research paper about? What did you do, sir? Actually, I didn't start anything. It's a, I'm in the first, I'm a second year of my college, so yeah. I have to start this after when I go to third or fourth year, sir. What are you planning to do? What are you planning to do? Your cited, uh, uh, research paper about computer science, sir. Yes, sir. On computer science, I'm planning to do something on cloud computing, sir. Nice one. So I'm, let I'm, me explain. Let's explain. Yes, sir. You, right? You yes. said you're planning to do in cloud computing, so you cite cloud computing research papers that's done by professors. Right. So if you yes, if you sir. if you try to cite your cloud company by a dental article, it doesn't make sense, right? So yes, sir. You, yes. Say, you know, so so if a dentist, for example, on his research paper has talked about cloud computing, that's okay, but it's not as relevant and good citation if you cite from a research paper done by a computer scientist. You see the yes, citation? Sir. So this is what citation flow. You need to cite it relevant papers likewise in google you need to get cited on, yes, on, on so this article actually so you need to so my art my website need to get cited and get yes, back to you. citation means citation flow means in this one it's basically you're getting backlinks and citations which is reference backlink from a niche relevant website so your citation flow goes up if you if you link from so for example my seo consultant page is getting backlinks from just say a dental website my citation flow is not going to go up but if i get backlinks from search engine journal from uh, so uh, websites that are written about seo my citation flow goes up you got, you yes, got yeah clear yeah. yes sir sure sir thank that, you very much sir. yeah that's where the citation flow any other questions about from this question anything? yeah it's like uh, do you have anything not clear from this one i want you to make sure everything got cleared yeah okay then let's proceed to the next one so this is very clear and uh shall i shall i get to these trends which we are really coming but uh, you can still ask me any questions i like to answer yeah okay then 
Okay, then let's uh, let me go. So latest train some so issue. So before even I'll give a little Anybody's going to ask? No, right? Okay. So before getting, as I explained, get the on page right and do. Sir, uh, Fernando. So, yeah, I hear you. Sir, uh, Fernando, sorry for interruption. Uh, sir, yeah, uh, can you show the video for, for the basics, like keywords? You have links for the video, right? This one. Video. Can you show basics video? Yeah. So that uh, many students, uh, second year, first year, they can understand. Can they hear it? You can also add your own voice, sir. I think the audio, audio is not coming. You can add your own voice. Okay, uh, no issue, sir. You can share the link later. You can proceed the slide, sir. hear me hello yes sir please continue hello. Sir. yeah yes sir, yes why is this audible sir please continue come on we can hear able to hear you Your voice is not audible, sir. Oh shit! It's not audible. Yeah, yeah. It's now not... it's okay, sir. So now audible, sir. Fernando, sir. Oh, sir. it sometimes goes on, right? I was talking a lot, really. Yeah. So let me actually explain again. So, so, right. So this is actually the latest. Uh,
And yeah, yeah, that's why very important you all tell me, right? So basically, I was talking, but I know you all didn't heard about the mobile SEO. This is one of the more latest trends and also the voice search, which is drastically picking up because more and more people are searching on mobile devices and also many are now starting to use voice and actually tell to Google, hi, Google, Google, can you tell me what is the best SEO consultant, right? So, so uh, rank better and get the clicks on mobile SEO. The thing is like ranking high as possible. If you are below, not, not, you're not going to get clicks. So this is why. And also in the voice searches, I want to explain uh, about in voice search. So let me actually go back and uh, tell you all uh, about the voice search praise, how I used to rank. So, so with this example of ranking on the snippet, right? So you can see how I get to rank on the snippet on the top which actually this is a particular article on my blog. This gets picked up on mobile devices and also voice searches more than ever because it takes the most space and it gets the guaranteed click, right? So as in the growing of uh, of the of the latest trends, it's like it's becoming very competitive. However, if you do SEO right and if you get the chance, you, you're pretty good, you know? So the latest trends are the rise of mobile SEO and the voice search, which I actually talk about even on the course about going into detail why people should build mobile friendly websites. It's very important the websites are built mobile friendly so that uh, they rank higher up on 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 voice uh, and also mobile devices and also there is another thing about how you write the content to rank higher on voice searches there is basically you need to use a word praises and things like that that according to like you base there is a way people talk right so be, in, a, in a voice search people would ask questions so having more questions and the things helps uh, so things like putting the, the schema re snippets and all, so you can see we put those questions, right? These all help to rank higher on mobile searches. Which is, this is pretty advanced SEO, but I want to give a recap of it, which you can learn, which I'm going to give you all the courses. Happy to help you all to really master SEO because this is the way of writing to rank higher on mobile searches uh, in, a, in a question mark, question manner, and also like you're talking. Right. So these are the very latest trends, pretty much the latest trend and, and the very latest thing which is coming up AI, which I'm not still not convinced it's still there. It's it's something coming up. Oh God, the, uh, yeah, but still at the it's a place of the data is being collected from mobile and voice searches and the future we would say from 2021 onwards. 2023 the AI things will pick up but at the moment it's not as popular mobile SEO and voice search is the latest really the trends and maybe many people looking so if you are planning to do SEO you should really take this very serious uh, because this is where things are going really you can't just have a mobile uh, website that is not mobile responsive doesn't rank very well uh, for on mobile searches because your share market share the click-through rate the share is going down really and then tips to rank higher on Google and uh, basically going back to the same thing, you know, perfect on page SEO, which starts by building the website perfect. I showed you an example of a perfectly built web page. You can study this one. You can have a look. I will send you more examples if you want. A lot of websites, right? So this is a perfectly created web page, which you rank, which I rank for number one, which is made. This is just a one keyword, right? So it all starts with perfect on page SEO starting point is building in a website and I'll tell you if you all are studying computer engineering or you are in a computer college try to learn how to build your own website a blog which if you want there is a course also which I can give for free which is very easy there are a lot of YouTube videos to start your own website web page for free and even build it on a thing like WordPress because that gives you the technical understanding how to build a website and do perfect on page SEO which I actually talk about these things right getting the title tag the URL right putting the content the schema because anybody in the modern day I will I would recommend if you're studying especially on a computer science college and the science try to learn to build a website a web page or a blog and apply what you learn today because that will give you to understand. that's how I did that's how I actually mastered SEO and this is what you exactly get on this course which for free done by me and then, of course, one of our team members, Manuela, she had done the content writing strategy, going in very detail about how to write content 
exactly what I explained to perform better on the thing. She, she'd run more, write most of the content for our agency, our hosting company and everything. And then the website presentation, right? Got to get the right presentation. You saw how on our website web page, I've done the presentation in a manner to rank higher. You know, see my complex presentation. This is why I rank on the top as possible. You know, the presentation, the videos embedded, a lot of links, which is giving to the relevant pages, right? And internal linking like Wikipedia style, the media, the content, all the presentation, more videos I put it, right? I tell a story, I put uh, reviews and the things, which all comes, are the questions. This is why this, this page, this is a good page if you want to study to really master and advance your skill and you can apply it to any website. You don't have to, you can apply to your college website, your business website, your uncle's website, all, all those kind of things. And then of course, the very important thing, the loading speed, which comes into the architecture of the website. The website, how it was built is very important to the loading speed, the images, the composition, all those things. Hi guys, you hear me, right? Everything? I, it kind of went quiet, so that's why I'm asking. Able to hear you, yes, sir. sir. Nice one, right? So very good. And then the media and keywords, which I talked about, media, video, images, this all falls into the media. I, I really want you to get this right because a lot of people think you can just build a website and rank it. No, gone are the days you're going to build a page like that, right? I rank this way. You can see I, I literally, this is the science I actually covered to you all and want to give you hundreds, thousands of people already gone through. So these are articles written by myself. This 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 goes to the fundamental approach of the presenter. These are media, right? How I put the media, the presentation, all those things. And also I have article which I will actually give you. It talks you how to write a blog post, 10 step plan, the perfect writing. This is exactly how I write for my agency, for my clients, my SEO business, my blogs, all those things. So these are 10 step plan. I've written this which explained to you all the fundamental on oh by the way this video goes to you about the keyword research so i'll try to add this link below of this video or else I'm, i will email to you and mohan and they will give it to you this gives the 10 step plan how you write it keyword this, this is very in detail and if you're interested about advance your seo knowledge and really take into and get into my level of seo you read this it goes up to all these details about the presentation h1 titles how you do the presentation all those things are there right so all those things and then of course i i have a nice guide about how to start blogging in india free guide you can go through the thing and these resources are there if you want to learn. It's on my personal blog, freely available for all of you all to learn it, right? So we're back here again. And then of course, the same thing we are recapping, getting the, the, the building the brand, you know? So that's what I did. I built my personal brand. If you, if you look for my personal brand, for my agency, right? So let's, let's go back, uh, let's say uh, a brand means something like this. So this is my agency. So this is how it appear, the trust signals, the Google reviews, the trust pilot signals. Do a little bit of a thing, you will see how a brand is built. And if you Google my name, you can see how a personal brand is built, right? So the thing personal brand is different, but you can see the photos, my videos, things pops up. And uh, I want to show you something like this. This is one of my hosting companies. So how the brand gets picked up. Right. So the trust signals, all those things and, and how we do this presentation, because this is the fundamental point that a lot of people don't get. If you skip this, your long term SEO ranking is going to be gone. So always consider about building a brand and think about that one. I have talked about some articles as well, which I can maybe go on another presentation about it. Building a brand. A brand is what they, your college is a brand. That's why people trust it. People come to so there are if you Google your college name on Google, you can see that. And then it things like link building. Link building means backlinking, which is a very advanced part of SEO, which talks about if I to tell you example, link building is basically writing articles and publishing on other posters, uh, websites and getting a backlink, which is going back to again that uh, you were asked the question about citation, which is the niche relevant citing, you know? So I have my website and if that's been cited on other websites on the web, which is called links, which helps to increase the rank because Google li looks at that factors when it's going about uh, rank in a website so this is in a in a, in a nutshell I, I went through what is SEO and how you actually
can learn SEO and the thing these are the two courses guys these uh, these are the coupon codes go to this link enter the coupon code and and you can learn, learn uh, go, go through this course really it's free hi mohan you ask any questions you have yeah we can uh, let's get into questions. Uh, the session is now the session is now open to participants yeah uh, you can post your questions in google meet as well as youtube right yeah post it and then i will answer the questions anybody can answer post their questions right so uh, let me know any questions sir i yes, have a hi. question sir yeah, sir if me. i ha if i will post any image can i get the information about the image is it possible sir if you post Can the go. image on ah, so image. Ba upload, upload yeah, the you, image. yes you want to upload the image right okay. so yes if, if you upload the image you will get to a thing so for example if the image has things like the alter text the image name so so I will show you in a little bit of image right I'm going to show you my screen right now and let me go to an image so for example we have image like this so let's say this particular image right so this image has this name and everything given on the properties on the detail the image name so if this image was uploaded if somebody does a search press search for that image details given yes the details can be found but some people don't have images given in a detail so the image would be like one two three nine four sign so in that case you can't do a background image search so according to what's been given on a image properties so as i said right so for example like tech, tech domains right so if you go to the properties section and you can see the image name and the information given so let, let me actually show you something like if I give a more details on image yeah so for example if this detail so see this is called image metadata given right so the may title the subject of the image the rating and the image is about Fernando Raymond right so I give give these kind of details and if this image is being uploaded to Google yes if a person search these details can be found of course what's on Google what you can find is according to the feed the data that's been fed to the Google is it is it clear or sir okay sir thank you sir and one yeah, more uh, doubt sir, sir yeah, please yeah, you type it in your Google search engine Banariman Institute of Technology because I so, would like to know whether Banari Amman, Banari Amman, Institute of Technology. Okay. Yes, okay, I'm here. Okay, yeah. sir. Thank you, sir. Because I would like to know whether the always the content will be displayed on the same portion, uh, whether it is in India or in abroad. I would like to know. No, in it place becomes to place different. it may it, be very it will place different. So for example, this is called a branded term. It's a brand keyword so it will always be on the same term wherever you google this will rank number one right unless like a, some some uh, bbc or something right about the u.s so for example it could differ the ranks for this branded term if a big channel like bbc or something right however it will not but if it is for a keyword so for example if you say where is it okay then it is so so if i say this keyword colleges in colleges in thing see yes you are ranked number one however somebody else who googles while in India you might you might see something different or somebody in US will see something different so according to location Google shows the data so I will give you one example so if a person in a UK website so dot co dot your website written about uh, the the colleges on this so that would tend to rank higher than a person who's looking in the United States so you get the understanding so it will of course differentiate according to the location and I explain on this presentation Google actually let me go back and show you Google they, they this is the thing they look at location search preferences and the past search data and also the thing like are you using Google Chrome or Internet Explorer so all these things comes into place and it varies if it is a keyword however if it is a branded term like this it will be same got it okay sir okay sir so I have one more question yeah ask me yeah you can ask me yeah yeah hi
sir i have one more question sir um, yeah yeah ask me ask me yeah you can ask the question sir in my search engine google search engine i have entered seo consultant in uk for local business marketing really yeah. i have uh, the resultant pages for advertisement hey, comes I... first sir yeah advertisement comes first right because huh. because sometimes google actually uh, show the ads i showed you because it is called the paid ads and the google ads so i talked to you about these two right so search engine optimization right which is organic seo is the ones below the ads but the paid seo is called google adverts right i will actually if you guys are interested i'll give you free access to the google adverts course which goes into detail because uh, google adverts so basically seo services in 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 uh, in london or something right so let me see where the ads come so not now the ads are not coming right so it's it's called the paper paid ads so that's why an advertisement comes on the top where do you see this you consult a london page this page do you see below the ads right below the ads or further below no sir beginning of four ads comes afterwards only the corresponding page will yes. yeah so so basically it's like that so there are two things i explained on this slide there is paid seo is two aspects one is organic one is paid paid is pretty much if you pay the highest price you can always be the number one so that is that's how the google business model works really you know because if a person paid the highest bidding money that's how google makes money so no matter how much you do seo if somebody else comes and pay more money he will always be on the top four listing the person who bid the highest price will be at the highest position that's how google makes most of the money so it's it's controllable that's also which is called google adverts right so you all can actually look at the thing called google adverts right so google adverts uh, we have a course we'll give it to you for free if you want this is called google adverts so see ad starts popping up so this is the thing even when you google google adverts this is the ad it is paid and of course in case google is doing this and this is the non organic one so this is the this is a thing which also has seo agency we do is basically clients pays money to us to do these campaigns also they pay money to google as the highest bidder or the money they can they can to get the clicks because that's how google works that's how google makes money so basically more the money you have you have a more chance to get the clicks no matter how much good you do seo how much the best thing to do is do ideally best if you are a business right so even so that's how it actually goes on yeah ask me anything more about it if you want to simplify i just tried to answer that one right so so if you say like colleges in this one so this is a keyword somebody can bid on google on google adverts and rank on top and literally control the what is the search results on the top so this is a paid thing it's not free seo or anything you have to pay a certain price to google directly and run a campaign but what we talked about is organic seo which is actually getting here this non paid search listings hi i'm not uh, i'm not done i'm feeling thing the um, yes a lot of people asking questions yeah and think good yeah somebody asking you some question which is good anybody can talk yeah ask me questions uh, hi fernando this is uh, priya hi priya how the are you the participants uh, can host yeah, the I'm feedback i'm doing good thank you hello yeah hi yeah i'm doing good thank you yeah uh, so i have a question like uh, since you typed seo consultant in london it straight away took you to that uh, page where your name comes first as in like uh, yeah. seo consultant in london but if there is a case say for example i am a brand which sells ethnic wear but then when people are searching they might not know the term ethnic wear they might search yeah. for a kurti or a, yeah. you know pajama or something so yeah. how yeah. do i associate those uh, words closely to my brand because so i will search i will do a seo for my brand yeah so basically it starts yeah. with this so basically so it's a different way but people are not aware however that's why you need to do a keyword research to understand also if there is a search volumes are happening for what you are performing right so uber like let me go to a, so so and then you insert those keywords on the web page 
right so okay. basically if you if you look at my website just say like take an article like uh, uh, types of web hosting services but i talked about different web hosting service i include this content so in going back to your thing you do a keyword research and see whether there is a demand for the keyword that you're talking about but people are not aware mm -hmm. or if you're not sure so you must able to write that particular keyword so you said kutnikware right uh, what do you say Kut ethnic ethnic <laughs> Ethnic, yeah. yeah. Right, ethnic, yeah. right. So basically, you can base what you would do, you take this keyword and go to a keyword tool. Let me actually show you one of the keyword tools that I'm using, right? So I will do a performer search trade right there. You see the screen, right? Yes, I see it. So uh, this is a tool, of course, it's a paid tool. That's the thing, but we are paying because we are an SEO agency. But you can see ethnicware from the United So in the India, the keyword ethnicware mm -hmm. has over. 29,000 searches. So if you rank anywhere in the first page mm -hmm. of Google, you will blow up. Your business will grow, mm -hmm. right? And then what we do, so you say your business is about ethnic where your website is about. And then what you do, you pick the related keywords, right? Ethnic okay. where, and then you insert these keywords on that website okay. web page. I talked about on page SEO, which is building the site perfectly, which is yes. this part, right? So this yes. is where it comes to. You build a website right you put the keywords in the right place and if you go to this one try to watch this video we talk about branded terms buyer terms mm -hmm. keyword specific terms this video if you click this link i will give you this okay. update you'll get a complete understanding okay. what keywords you need to insert to rank okay. for the particular keyword so this is your core keyword which is the parent topic is it fair so you must build your website around the topic of ethnic wear. However, you need to insert keywords like ethnic wear for men, ethnic wear for Indians, right? You see a lot of broader keywords that you can use. Even Uber suggests you can okay. actually go and, go and use with the, so this is a free tool. All you need is a Google account, Gmail, and you can literally go to here. See, put your keyword like here, just just get uh, keyword ideas, right? So you go here and, and, and you search, say, in India, right? This is a free tool. You okay. can, all of you all can start playing with the, if you if you uh, right, uh, planning to do SEO for a website. So you put ethnic wear. So you look for ethnic wear searches in India. You see this one? These are the top ranking pages. You see how many clicks are they are getting, and then these are the related terms. You must include it on your website. Okay. Right. Okay. And then you yes, will yes. get relevancy keywords. So ethnic where in India, ethnic where might not different keywords, and also you said other keywords that you are not sure whether people are searching. So you can see whether these keywords are searched on Google. And then if so, you need to insert into okay. your web page. So this is a web page, right? So this is a web. So likewise, if you're building an uh, mm -hmm. website, like, so let's get to this website. So see, these guys rank number one in Google for in the UK for ethnic wear. See how they have presented? They have written about all the ethnic wear things. And of course, you can study these kind of website to look at their things. Many factors comes into place. First things on page SEO, okay. which building the website right, putting the keywords at the right place, and then it comes down to off-page SEO, which is the backlinks and things which you actually will learn on this course, which I will give free access. You can see that, right? Okay. So this okay. is okay. Keyword research and get the keyword right. And all these keywords has to be inserted on your web page in a manner. Ethnic wear for girls, girls ethnic wear, the latest ethnic wear, what are the trends in. So it's 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 what will end up your website to rank high on Google. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got yeah. it? Got it clear? That's clear. Yeah, nice yeah, one. Clear, clear. Thank you. Okay. And one more thing. Like yeah. uh, if uh, say like if we more and more the uh, we have a presence in social media, will it reflect in our SEO? Like uh, the because more and more the name of a brand is being repeated yeah. in social media platforms that will have a reflection on seo it is it is yes will that be the case yes. or yes. is it i, I okay. mentioned about it actually on this one the thing right how oh. you actually use social media properties to increase that because you can see if you google yeah. uh 
public to SEO consultant or something, right? Right? Even not just like uh, I just like want to show a brand and think that page pops mm-hmm. up. So we have these things like Trustpilot, also Facebook posts. See, our Facebook page. These triggers towards ranking higher. So, yeah. so see, we yes. have so many. So, so for example, if you are building a uh, ethicware brand. You should build a Facebook page, Instagram page, a LinkedIn page. So let me go back again. I will show you some of the properties we have for our ICU agency alone, right? So, so see these yes. these picks up Facebook page, right? The Twitter, the YouTube channel, the crunch page, all those things picks up. This gives you. The brand of exactly, and then yes. I have tested a lot. I did talk in this presentation. It, it actually Google Google picks up also change search and uh, signals because that's where they can really see a brand is being interacted with real people because social media is where real people are at most of the time if they're not going to Google. So they could exactly. relevance uh, signals from uh, from social media. So having a powerful Facebook page, the Twitter. It's very important, and also YouTube. YouTube is very powerful for SEO, very helpful. So, if you are building an ethnic wear brand, you should start your Facebook page for the brand, your YouTube channel for the brand, and also your LinkedIn, Instagram. So, so especially for ethnic wear, think a Pinterest page, all those things matters. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Have yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Words may be replaced by uh, replaced for ethnic words. For example, I don't know exactly kurti. If I am searching on kurti, yeah. whatever may be the web pages having uh, ethnic wear may be displayed. So it is possible, sir. Is it possible? Uh, I, I think it is. So, so basically, yeah, ethnic wear kurtis, right? Yeah, actually, as I mentioned, so. Ethnic wear is the parent topic, yes, say, right? So if we do a search press for Kurti, so you can see how many people are searched according to that. So this keyword, so see, this many people in India search for this keyword, Kurtis, right? So it's important you insert the type of Kurtis on that web page if you want to rank higher. So when a person look for ethnic wear Kurtis, if you want to rank for this keyword, that see inserting these keywords at the right places uh, on the website is very important to rank higher. So it has to be inserted. That's why it all starts with, I actually showed you, it all starts with keywords as a part of the on-page SEO. The very first thing is keyword research. You got to do the keyword research and make sure all these related keywords. So if you are going after ethnic wear, the kurtis, right? And then you do a search. This is a very vast topic to be uh, to tell you that's why I have covered this and and it's a very vast topic a lot of YouTube videos are there by the people about the keyword because this is the fundamentals of SEO if you don't get the keywords right you're not going to rank for the wrong keywords you're not going to get the right rankings even if you rank and you get the key traffic it's not the right traffic which you'll not be able to sell to them so so getting the keywords right is very important hello Mohan. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sir, that is a question from YouTube. One user has. Can, can I see the YouTube thing. link? What is the YouTube link? Did you drop me the YouTube? Uh, sir, YouTube, YouTube.com slash. YouTube.com slash. M O H E N. M O H. H E N. 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 Oh, Mohan Raj. Uh, R-E-J, yeah. T-A-R-U, T-I-R-U, T-I-R-U. Yeah, this one. P-P-P-P-U-R. P-P-O-R. Yeah. Okay, let me see. U-R-U, U-U-R, U-R. P-P-R-U-R. Uh, P-P-U-R. P-P-U-R. Okay. P-P-U-R. Wait a minute, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Mohan Rajatirpu. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, and and. Yeah. Okay. So okay, this is the one, right? So what's the? the yeah, I, I see that. I see that. What's the, what's the question? Uh, so uh, can we create a website and rank higher than Amazon? Tough to rank, though. <laughs> it's like can you rank out rank your 
call it for a keyword not really it's it's, it's pretty tough right so it's it's got to be hard work really because so what's the keyword you tell me the keyword let's do a search phrase right now what's the keyword you're thinking Answer. Uh, he just mentioned, uh, can we create a website and beat Amazon in Google search? It's very tough to beat beat Amazon, but you can do it if you get backlinks from uh, BBC, Huffington Post, big newspapers. Get huge links, you have a chance. So, for example, let's say you want to say uh, uh, buy uh, buy uh, home office uh, home office tables. I don't know who comes up, right? Home table, right? So if I learn, Maybe Amazon might come up. Not Amazon, actually. It's coming on in this one. Okay. So, like, you see, yeah, people beat Amazon. See? People beat Amazon, but these are also major brands. So, furniture, this is a website built by somebody else, and they had beaten Amazon. So, it's beatable, but it's just okay. competitive. And these are very, it's beatable. It's beatable, you know? So, double, double strollers, right? Let me see who comes up on the top. Yeah, Amazon is beat it. Amazon is number three. It's beatable, but it's a lot of competition. How hard you're going to be willing to work? And do. so these are also big brands in the UK, right? So it's beatable for definitely what Amazon is selling. So when a person looking uh, like this, a big keyword, right? Buy, buy, buy double strollers in, in the UK. So for kids and all. See, people beat Amazon. These guys beat Amazon. So it's doable, but it's extremely hard work, I'm just saying. You know, so if you if you're going on a keyword, you look at the keyword difficulty, all those you so see this kind of website went about and beaten Amazon, which is for a big keyword, huge keyword. Yeah, it's doable, Mohan Raj. But it's just a lot of hard work if you want to do it. Why would you want to beat Amazon? It's the best thing. You actually rank on the first page of Google and somewhere next to Amazon because most of the buyer terms that Amazon ranks, people shop around. They click many results on the first page so ideally if a person can be here on the top five for a search result that they are ranking for amazon term that's where it, uh, you, that's where you can really score best yeah hi what's the next question mohan sir uh, one more question from one student that is what are yeah. the benefits of on page optimization and off page op optimization on page optimization going back again i mentioned you all right on page optimization is basically building the website right yeah I, I, let me let me uh, go for this slide really on page optimizations benefit if you don't do it right your website is not going to rank on google it's like if you build your hotel bad nobody's going to come to the hotel even if they come they're going to tell bad things about your hotel so others are not going to come to the hotel so you know hotel is not going to get famous you're not going to grow. So same terminal example of uh, on-page optimization. On-page optimizations benefits. If you've done the on-page optimization right, it helps and eases up of ranking higher on Google, right? Off-page optimization benefits is basically off-page signals, which is social media signals, backlinks, which is called citations, like the relevancy. The, the, the Google gets those things. So off-page optimization, when it's done right, it ranks higher on Google. So those those both things comes in combined to rank higher on Google for a competitive term. So Mohan asked about can you opt out rank a Amazon website? So if you only do on page optimization, you can't literally rank. Also, if you do on page optimization bad, you really can't rank. But if you do both well on page optimization and come off page optimization right, as I show, what can be done? You can rank higher on Google like for a term, like these guys who are ranking. Right, so these things both when you done combine on page optimization of optimization, you rank higher on Google. That's the advantage, and that's why you need to do on page optimization. Uh, sir, there is another question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, what is the need for uh, robots text? Robotic text is basically the Google's, uh, not Google's, uh, website's uh, reading thing. So website has a robotic file means like it's a sitemap, really, the readability thing. So uh, if a website, we go the sitemap, right? Sitemap, uh, sitemap.xml. So basically, this is, uh, let me see whether it comes on on this one. Doesn't it show? So there is a thing called on a website, like I'm trying to get you, if I can get you any of the sites that I can show. Sure. 
See, this is the this is the this is the sitemap of a web. Right? It's called also the we give this thing on the robotic text file to be able. This is what Google read. This is how the Google sees it. You see that? So this is what Google read, and 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 actually uh, put into their crawling and indexing. Right, so the ent entire example of this sitemap thing is there. So uh, robotic text file is there. So in a nutshell, so you know, a website owner use a robotic textile file to give the instructions to their website to to the web robots, which is in this case the Google robots. So we give the instructions to Google robots, which is the Google bots really, to come and read. This is how they see the website as everything. So, so this is what the robotic text file, the entire explanation is here, if you guys can read it, is that site file, the website owner, you or me, whoever own the website of our own, give that instruction to Google to be able to read it and pick it. And you can give instruction, Google bots can read it or not read. So the robotic text file, which is on the website server, the hosted place, which you can give instruction, you can block a website from being able to for Google to read. So I can actually block the website, all these things to be able to, from the robotic text file for Google to be able to read. Yeah. So the exact example is there. If you want to read into detail, how you block it, how you uh, not block it, how you open it up, all those things. And then of course on the webmaster tools, how to submit it, things like that. I hope it's clear for the about the robotic text file. Any other questions? Any other questions, guys? You can you can see any other questions. Um, if you think I hope it covered for you all a lot of questions about it. Yeah, somebody wants to ask question. You all can ask me any questions. But more than anything, guys, I, I want you to really go through in, and this has been given. Take through this course if you are new to the SEO thing. Go through the course, finish it. Ask me the questions as well also on this video if this is going to be on the youtube as well on the recorded version you can of course ask me questions below the video i'll happy to answer all those questions right and uh, and then of course you can find the details on the click to blog these links are there fernando raymond blog seeker host blog seekers university all the courses and i'm happy if you want to email personally all those guys thanks for live uh, participating to over 200 people were uh, participating very um, good you can send me personally send me an email if you want or else send an email to uh, mohan ask him mohan can ask me and if you all want i'm happy to um, happy to do another session with all of you all and uh, and basically uh, answer you all the things uh, that you want to be covered really so uh, yeah mohan any other questions so how to make a can I What's that? Hello. Yeah, hi. Hello. Yeah, hi. I can hear you. Ask me. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, hi. How to improve my site SEO from a blog content, sir? The basically, it's I I talked about it, but let me go you. So you have to write. So if I if I to take you to my personal blog, or let me take you to one of the click to blogs, right? So you can see how to increase the the SEO of our own blog. We have written topics covering SEO stuff. You see, we rank for SEO related terms, citation building, link building services, backlinks, SEO consultant, SEO expert. All. So we have written a lot of content related to SEO. So we talk about the thing like SEO audit, which directly relates towards the service we offer. Right? So we, we write those topics of, of, of those things really. Right. So even if you can see on my blog how I'm writing on my personal blog, I write to the topics because I'm I'm more into a digital nomad, online marketing, SEO, how to do the things. So see my title and also a lot of web hosting. So I write articles about web hosting. So for example, I want to prominently go after web hosting terminals, right? So class C let me see if it pops up. So we have Terminology is covering. I write articles around these kind of topics that actually pops up for these articles. Like it's actually I recently wrote a thing. Can I see that one? Oh, it's not showing. Yeah. So anyway, and uh, so you got an understand. Like, let me see an example about types of web hosting. I'll show you types of web hosting. So this is an article. This is a very big term which is relevant for our web hosting business. You can see we have this is a blog post. This is on the blog, right? So the Gautam had written this article explaining 
about the ty eight types of web hosting services. So this is how you write about it. So if you want to go about, so before pre ask about uh, uh, this uh, ethnic wear, so she should be writing about articles about ethnic wear, kurtas, like ethnic wear for men. So the blog post should be about these topics. You know, so this is an example. You see types of web hosting services, explanation article to rank to bring it traffic. This article brings us traffic. If you Google types of web hosting services in India, you can see this article is ranking, which brings in the traffic for the people who are looking for the types of web hosting services and potentially they will buy web hosting from us, from this website. So that's how you blog. Blogging is like the most important thing to get started and do to the free. You know, you even have to buy backlinks and the stuff. If you do the back uh, blogging right way, and you can see how we blog for this website, of course, we, we blog about things about uh, web hosting related, about servers, about web hosting types, plugins for web hosting, WordPress, all those kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So Mohan, how are we going? Yeah, it's it's, it's fine, sir. Uh, so can we wind up? What's that? So can we uh, wind up wind up the session? Yes, let's wind up this session. As I said, guys, like thank you very much for listening. Uh, I'm really glad that I can take this opportunity and share some of my knowledge. And uh, all of you all will get this course access. Uh, just 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 go to this link and use this coupon code free of charge i really would say go through this course it's completely free nothing to sell for you or anything i just want you all to learn it because if you just swap this webinar and then uh, walk away you will forget it what i would really encourage you watch it try to apply it do for a write a blog post maybe start a blog maybe do a seo for your college one of the blogs write a thing learn it and apply somewhere maybe if you really think on a career path in seo learn seo try to do seo for free for a business owner like to, to practice that but that's how i did i literally got my first <coughs> client and i actually did for free for the thing for not it's not even a client i actually did for a person that's how i studied and mastered it so they go through these two courses learn it if you have any questions ask mohan ask me i'm happy to help you and i'm really glad that you all joined and some people asked some questions and i hope this uh, gave you some tips about seo and these are the channels that you all can go through and uh, and uh, and learn about more about SU and myself and my blog is there fernandraymond.com blog you can read more about it send me an email if you want i will answer as much as i can and uh, yeah mohan very good opportunity sir, thanks for everybody sir sir, 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 sir myself vimesh kumar on behalf of computer science and engineering department banaryaman institute of technology extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all the participants and staff members i would like to extend a special thanks to mr fernando raymond CEO of ClickDo and Seeker House London UK for inspiring us. I would like to thank our distinguished speaker, Mr. Fernando, for making excellent presentation and making this webinar interesting and meaningful. I also yeah. wish to express my gratitude to our beloved principal, Dr. C. Palnisami sir, Dean PDS, Dr. K. Sivukma sir, and heads of various departments. Professor Academics, Dr. S. Jagdishwaran, sir, and our beloved HOD ma'am, Dr. K. Premlata ma'am, for providing encouragement and support for organizing this event. I heartily congratulate all the participants for their active participation in this event. Thank you guys for making this event successful with your contribution. Thank you. You're welcome, everybody. Mohan, very good session very happy how it all went so uh, thank you very much and um, very good session look forward to talking to you all again and uh, have a great day thank you very much thank sir. You, sir thank you very thank much thank you sir yeah thank you very much yeah bye then okay mohan i think uh, the session is over yeah Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So, th thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, uh, we will be back in WhatsApp, sir. I will, we, we can communicate in WhatsApp. Ma'am? Yeah. Actually, ma'am? Yes, Vignesh. Yes, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes.
So thank you, Vignesh. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, Morgan Raj. Thank you, Morgan Raj. Thank you. Thank you very much for the wonderful uh, session. Th thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, so fair note, no, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, so uh, I can communicate in WhatsApp, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mohan Raj, sir, Vignesh, sir, and uh, Premla Tamil. Thank you, Priya, ma'am. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Priya. Thank you, you Priya, for asking wonderful questions. Thank you, ma'am. I have a little bit of a concept, so I thought I will stay online throughout and listen yeah. to the entire talk. Thank you, Priya. Thank you for Thank this you. opportunity. Okay, ma'am.